Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on allowing guest users to access our Django website. So let me give you a little bit more on the specifics. So what we can do is we can go ahead and make use of a Django app that's going to allow visitors to interact with our application without having to go ahead and register for an account. Now this is very useful if for example you have particular views that are specifically for authenticated users only but let's say you want to do some testing or you want an outside user just to have a little bit of perspective in terms of what account users are seeing so essentially we can create a guest user okay so i just want to show you a little bit more on my application before we get started so if i just run my server i have a very simple application so i have two views so i have my home page and I also have the dashboard. So this is a dashboard for authenticated users only. So I have two simple templates here, two views, and I can also show you the views here just for a little bit of clarity in my app. So let's go on there and we can see we have that homepage and that dashboard. Now, what I wanna do for the moment is I want to restrict this dashboard only to authenticated users only. So my dashboard.html, which looks like this, okay, I just want to set it to authenticated users only. So what I can do essentially here by dashboard is I can go ahead and add in a bit of functionality. So I'm going to say if the request dot user dot is underscore authenticated. So if the user is authenticated, I want to allow them to view the dashboard.html page. If this is not the case, all I'm going to do is I'm going to return and you may need to import a redirect here at the top of your views.py. So you can just redirect them somewhere else. So I'm just going to say redirect and I'm going to redirect them back to the home page each time a user that is unauthenticated tries to access this dashboard.html page. So what I can do now is I can just restart my server so we'll just take a moment here. Okay, and now what I can do if I re refresh, I immediately get redirected to the home page. And each time I try to access the dashboard, okay, it keeps on redirecting me back to the home page because of the functionality that we added into place. So as we can see now, no one is able to access the dashboard.html page unless they are authenticated. Okay. Now this is where the Django guest user app comes into place. All right, so what we can do now effectively is we can allow guest users to access certain parts of our application without having to register as a user. So let's go ahead and set everything up. So what we can do is scroll down and we can see we have a list of steps here for the quick start. Now the quick start doesn't explain everything in detail. So what you can do of course, is you can also look at the installation documentation. So I'll open that up here as well. And we're actually going to follow a combination of the two. So we're going to follow the docs and we're also going to follow the quick start guide here as well, just to give us a bit more clarity. Okay, so let's go ahead and get everything started. So first of all, let me zoom in. Um, I think that's fine. So we need to say pip install Django guest user. So we can copy that. And here in our server, we can just put in pip install Django guest user. There we go. Okay, so that's the first step done. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add in guest user to our installed apps in settings.py. So what you can do is you can head on over to your settings.py file. Okay, and I'm just going to scroll down and here I have installed apps. So what I can do is I can add in guest user to my installed apps. Okay, and I always like to add in the single quotes, but just to ensure we don't have package issues, let's just keep it on the default just to make sure we don't have any problems. Okay, we've got that in place. Next, we want to specify the authentication backends. Now, if you are using Django 4.2 like I am, we don't by default have that authentication backends option. So we're going to have to add it into our application itself. So we're going to have to copy authentication backends and we're going to have to paste that all in to our application. And I'm just putting it just below my installed apps list here. So you're just gonna to have to add that in manually. Okay, so an important thing here to note anyway, that the guest user authentication backend needs to be after the default Django OS backend. Just some clarity there for you. 
So we got that set. Then we want to allow guests to convert to registered users by adding in the following URL. So what we can do is we can add in this URL. So we can copy that and we can put this in our main URL.py file. So what I mean by that is in our main project here. So my project is Elevate and this is where the admin URL is situated. So I'm going to put that in here. Perfect. So we've got that done. And the next thing we need to do is we want to migrate the guest user table here by running migrations. So what we can do essentially is in our terminal, we can say Python manage.py migrate. And you want to migrate that guest user table. There we go. So it's been set. I already have that table set. So we're good to go there. Great. So we've done that. Let's head on back to the quick start and see if we've done everything. So we've installed the Django guest user package. We've added guest user to installed apps and migrated the database. We added guest user backends to our authentication backends. We included guest user URLs in our URLs. And now we need to decorate our views with allow guest user. So essentially we're now using another decorator. So we can add this into place so we can see it's very simple. All we need to do is choose a view which we want our guest user to be able to view. And we can just then import the decorator, which is allow guest user and attach that decorator on top of the view that we want guest users or anyone practically to be able to go ahead and access. So essentially put, let's head on back to our application and I just want us to turn on the server. And I still want to show you what's going on for the moment. So now if we go to dashboard, we can see we still get redirected, okay? Because we're not authenticated, not even as a guest user in our views. So as we can see now, it's still passing in the statement here. If the request um, dot user is authenticated, return dashboard HTML. We're not authenticated, not even as a guest user. So we're constantly being redirected back to our homepage. Now let's take a look here at the quick start again. Now, in order for us to officially be registered as a guest user, we need to go ahead and make use of the allow guest user decorator and add it to the view that we want to access. In our case, we want to access the dashboard page as a guest user. Now, one thing I want to show you just before we go ahead and add that in is make sure your server's running. I would encourage you to go to the admin page and you can go ahead and create a super user. If you don't know how to do that, it's fine. I'll show you now how to do that. So you can say python manage.py create super user. And I'm going to create something and I'm going to say admin one, skip the email, put in a password. And again, okay. then you want to turn on your server. And as soon as you've done that, you can go ahead and enter in your super user or your admin user credentials accordingly. Now, once you've entered in your admin user credentials, you can log in. And as you can see here, we have a guest user app here with our guest um, model. So our table here, which we can view. And as you can see here, we have no guests as of this moment. Now, the way in order to create a guest user is to access you could say a view which has the allow guest user decorator on top of it. That's automatically going to create a guest user for us. So what I mean by that is if I log out now, and let me just go to my home page at localhost, okay? And if I still go to dashboard, nothing. But now what we can do is we can go ahead and add in this decorator. So import allow guest user to our views.py right here at the top. So let's add that in. Then what we can do is we can add this allow guest user decorator on top of our dashboard and that's going to automatically create a guest user for us as soon as we try to access this dashboard.html page. So what we can do now is make sure that the server is running, then we can go to dashboard. And there we go. This is the dashboard for authenticated users only. Now, since we are a guest user, okay, and since we put this allow guest user decorator on, we're now able to view this page accordingly. Now, I just want to show you how this actually works. So if you go to your admin page, now you're going to see a message that says you are authenticated as this really long user. So that is your token, you could say as a guest user. Okay, now I want to show you this guest user as the admin user. So go ahead and enter in your admin credentials again. You can ignore this message and you can log in. And now we can go to guests. And here we can see we have our first guest user that was created. And like I said, 
that user was created as soon as we added in that decorator and accessed it that prompted our application to create a token for that guest user to access our view now of course there's various parameters and rules that you can put into place this is just a simple startup to get you up and running with it i would strongly recommend you read the docs to read a little bit more about how you can integrate various properties there's obviously a lot more to it this is just a basic understanding to it so you can really go ahead and utilize this to ensure that you are allowing for example testers or certain users to view your page for you could say feedback or if you just want to do some general testing or maintenance or whatnot very helpful to add in such a app to your application Okay, so that's it. That's all I wanted to mention. One last thing here, a very interesting thing here that I want to mention is with the actions, what you can do is you can delete the selected guests. So all the guests that you want to delete, you can go ahead and delete the normal way. Or you can delete all the selected guests that are older than 14 days. So of course there is some sort of cool down. And eventually what does happen is this guest user does switch on over to expired. Okay, so that's it on utilizing Django guest user. So a very helpful application to get your um, apps up and running in certain lights. And as always, guys, that's it. And thank you for the support and see you next time.